Hey, how's it going guys? I'm Ruse and welcome to my channel. I hope you are doing well. Today I will show you a deck that is not mine. This is actually my friend's deck. Uh, remember Chug? Yeah, that's the guy. Uh, he got lucky and got Yamakaze SSR. And he made a full countdown deck. And he sent me some really spicy replay. But before we get to the replay, let's see the deck rundown, shall we? He's running the standard countdown deck. But I think his ratio is pretty interesting. Because he brings a lot of one-off cards. I'm not sure if this is the optimal version of his deck. Because I don't play countdown deck. Uh, let me know down below. First up is Maestro. He usually acts as a support in countdown deck. Because he can heal, give stats boost, disrupt the opponent and make your countdown go faster. For him, he's bringing 1 Sonic Startle to make your countdown go faster, to Evolve Kagura for stats boost and minus 1 countdown for all of your other Shikigami, to Maddening Melody to extend your opponent's dead Shikigami countdown and reduce your Maestro's countdown, 1 Demonic Tune to break your opponent's heart, and 2 Lingering Sound for more countdown reducing. And I think because he's bringing Yamakaze Evolve, this card can easily make Yamakaze attack at least 2 or 3 times. Very deadly, very nice. Next up is Otengu. Most people bring Otengu for that really powerful level 3 spell that deals 3 damage to all of the opponent's Shigami. And in early game, you can use Wind Blast to knock back the opponent's Shigami to clear the way for your attacks. For him, he's bringing 2 Wind Blast, 1 Lord of the Storm for that extra 1 damage, which could be fatal sometimes. 2 Tengu's Fury, dealing 6 damage is actually really good even if it's random. 2 Featherblade Storm for that board wipe, and 1 Evolve to basically spam all Tengu's spell every turn. Then we have Itsumade. I think in this deck, he, uh, she's here to make the game end faster, because she can deal projectiles straight to the opponent's life. For her, he's bringing 2 Feather Reborn for more Golden Feather, because you can never have enough. 1 Dance of the Wind. This card is actually really good, a bit slow, but you can easily smash the opponent with this. 1 Cascading Feather for that extra attack. Usually you want to use this when you already have Deadly Sins on Itsumade so that she doesn't take damage. 1 Deadly Sins for that damage immunity when attacking, 1 Evolve for shorter countdown and more feathers, and 2 Wandering Feathers for that extra 2 random projectile. Lastly, we have the star of this deck, Yamakaze. He will be the main attacker and he is actually really scary once you evolve him. You can still play without his evolve, but his evolve is what makes Yamakaze really scary. For him, he's bringing 1 Violent for that permanent stats boost, 1 Rapid to shit on the opponent Shigami when they attack, 2 Power for that sweet sweet piercing and really decent stats, 2 Slash because Fatal is always good to have, 1 Charge for countdown reducing and stats, and finally 1 Evolve to make him the beast that he is. Basically when you reduce your countdown by card effects, that effect will also apply to Yamakaze, making him really dangerous and hard to deal with. And that's all for the deck rundown, so let's see what spicy stuff he got for us. Our first battle is against Bukuman deck out. I think this is going to be a pretty easy matchup as long as you can get over Kaguya's field, but we'll see. We get the first turn and we're just going to put Violet on Yamakaze and pass. They are just going to pass, maybe because they are confident about their healing ability. Alright then. On our turn, we activate Feather Reborn, then attack with Yamakaze. After that, activate one Golden Feather and pass. On their turn, they are going to put a form on Albozu, then activate his spell to heal and draw one card. After that, they activate Kaguya's spell to search her field and pass. On our turn, we activate one Golden Feather, then attack with Potengu and pass. On their turn, they activate Kaguya field to stall. Then activate Bukuman's spell to redraw their hand. 
After that, they activate another one of Kaguya's spell to search another field and pass, summoning Buddha Stone at the end turn. At the start of our turn, Yamakaze Countdown will activate, dealing 4 damage to the stone. We evolve Maestro, that will heal Yamakaze, then activate one Golden Feather. After that, activate Maddening Melody to increase their Maestro's Countdown and pass. On their turn, they activate Aobuzu's spell to heal, then attack with Buddha Stone, killing both of them. Then activate another Kaguya's field to increase the intensity and pass. On our turn, Maestro's countdown activates, uh, we activate one Golden Feather, then activate one Wind Blast to remove the stone. After that, attack directly with Itsumade and pass. On their turn, they activate Bukuman's spell to draw two cards, then activate Aobuzu's spell to heal and pass. On our turn, we activate Sonic Startle to reduce Maestro's countdown, that will activate Otengu's countdown, removing the Buddha Stone, then we activate one Golden Feather and attack directly with Yamakaze and pass. On their turn, their Maestro Countdown will activate and heal. Then they activate Ink Splash to kill Yamakaze and Otengu and pass. Well, we can't really do anything here. So we're just going to attack with Itsumade and pass. On their turn, they will evolve Aobozu and that will kill our Maestro. And then they will pass. They probably have a trigger card. On our turn, we activate Golden Feather. Of course, that will be negated. So we're just going to attack with Itsumade and pass. On their turn, they finally evolve Bukuman, then activate Scroll of Everything and pass. This is looking pretty bad, ain't it? On our turn, we activate Feather Blade Storm, then put a form on Itsumade and pass. On their turn, they will evolve Maestro twice, making them gain extra orb and a draw. Then they activate Lingering Sound, after that they activate Ensemble, then activate another Lingering Sound, then activate another Ensemble. And after all that, they activate Bukuman's spell to redraw, then they activate another Bukuman spell to draw two cards and finally pass. That was kind of ridiculous. So how are we going to come back from this? We will evolve Otengu, reducing the countdown, dealing 3 damage AoE, then activate 1 Golden Feather, dealing 2 extra damage because of the form. After that, we activate Lingering Sound to reduce Maestro's countdown, in turn reducing our other Shigami too, wiping all of their Shigami, and dealing 5 damage directly. I mean, that's one way to make epic comeback. All we gotta do now is finish them off before they can kill us. On our turn, we activate Tengu's Fury to deal a 6 damage trait to the life, then activate one golden feather to make our dance of feathers deal 14 damage and pass. We almost got them but sadly we have to take another 10 damage before killing them with Otengu's countdown. Well, that was really satisfying, so I'm not sure if the next replay will be able to top that. Our second match is almost a mirror match. They are running the more traditional build for Countdown with Jin and Itsumade.
We get the first turn once more, so we're just going to put Violent on Yamakaze and pass. On their turn, they will also put Violent, then attack directly and pass. Not sure if that was the best move, but you do you. On our turn, we're just going to attack with Itsumade and pass. On their turn, they activate one Golden Feather, then activate Sonic Startle to reduce Yamakaze countdown and kill our Itsumade. After that, they will go for direct attack and pass. On our turn, Maestro Countdown will activate and heal for 3, but we can't exactly do anything here, so we're just going to pass. They are also going to pass, maybe because they thought we have trigger cards. Uh, at the start of our turn, Yamakaze Countdown will trigger and deal 4 damage. We activate Tengu's Fury and it turns out they are the one that has trigger cards, so that will be negated. Then we will put power on Yamakaze and pass. On their turn, they put Steadfast on Yamakaze, then activate Feather Regrow, and finally activate one Golden Feather and pass. On our turn, we're just going to evolve Maestro and pass. On their turn, their Yamakaze countdown will trigger and deal 4 damage. They tried to evolve Itsumade, but this time we are going to negate it. So they are just going to attack with Yamakaze and pass. On our turn, we activate one Golden Feather, then put Deadly Sins on Itsumade and attack their Yamakaze and pass. On their turn, they will evolve Chin and Maestro, then activate one Golden Feather, dealing 8 damage and pass. On our turn, Yamakaze Countdown will trigger, dealing 7 damage. Then we activate Tengu's Fury. After that, we evolve Itsumade and pass. On their turn, they will attack our Yamakaze, then they evolve their own Yamakaze and pass. At the start of our turn, Maestro Countdown will activate and that will activate Otengu's and Itsumade's Countdown too. We activate Lingering Sound to kill their Yamakaze and dealing another 6 damage, killing their Maestro and Itsumade. Then we activate one Golden Feather to kill Chin and goes for direct attack with Yamakaze and pass. We pretty much won this battle, so on our turn, we're just going to attack with Yamakaze to end the game. Well, that's all for today's video. I certainly hope you enjoyed it. How was it? Did you like the replay? I certainly enjoyed the first one. That was a spicy comeback. Maybe in the future I'll do a subscriber uh, recompilation video or something. As usual, if you have any kind of feedback, leave it down in the comments and see you next video. Bye!